In a barely there ensemble, and Hathaway on Monday at the Bulgari Hotel in Rome left everyone speechless. The 41-year-old Oscar winner, who garnered positive reviews for her age-gap comedy The Idea of You, attracted attention in a custom Zach Posen sleeveless white maxi shirt dress from Gap that had a thigh-high split that was mostly left unzipped. The white corset bodice beneath the loosely draped collar gave the outfit a flirtatious yet carefree feel. She wore brilliant earrings, a diamond serpenti bracelet, and an amazing diamond necklace as part of her Bulgari jewelry collection. Leading a procession of stars, including the actresses Louis Fay and Xu Qi, and exuded the glamour and sophistication of a classic movie legend. The glamorous outing follows the Princess Diaries alum's honest interview with Vanity Fair, when she talked candidly about her choice to give up alcohol. The celebrity, who also admitted in the interview that she miscarried in 2015, said that giving up alcohol was a component of her five-year personal health journey. I knew in my heart that it wasn't for me, she said. But none? It felt like such an outrageous statement. However, none, she went on. You don't fight with something if you're allergic to it or experiencing an anaphylactic reaction. I gave up debating with it after that. Hathaway emphasized that she didn't have any preconceived notions about other people. Everyone must walk this path for themselves, she said. According to my own experience, everything has improved. It was wallowing fuel for me. Additionally, I dislike moping. She first talked about this decision in January 2019, explaining that she decided to give up drinking so she could spend more time with her three-year-old kid. She told Boston Common Magazine, I put down a drink because my drinking was not the problem, rather, I put it down because the way I drink causes me to have hangovers, and those were the problem. In the past, I experienced a five-day hangover. I'll start drinking again once I reach a point in my life where I have enough room to recover from a hangover, but not until my child moves out. The actress did, however, state that she had no animosity against parents who sometimes partake in a few drinks. To be clear, most people are not need to take such drastic measures. She clarified, I don't think drinking is bad. It's just that the way I do it, which I find to be very wonderful and fun, isn't for me the same type of awesome and fun as having a child. However, this isn't a sentimental position. The clarification followed her admission on the Ellen DeGeneres show in January 2019 that she had given up alcohol. She laughed and told funny stories about her hangovers before revealing once more that she was going to give up drinking till her little son was older and out of the house. My son is growing to the point where he needs me constantly in the mornings, and I don't really love the way I drink, and admitted to the host. I didn't drive when I performed my one school run, but I was so drunk that it was sufficient for me. I dropped him off at school. It wasn't my favorite. Hathaway, meanwhile, disclosed in her Vanity Fair interview that she had a miscarriage in 2015 before giving birth to her first child with husband Adam Shulman in March 2016. Jack, age 3, and Jonathan, age 7, are the couple's current boys. Hathaway was engrossed in work throughout the miscarriage, appearing in the six-week run of the one-woman off-Broadway production Grounded. It didn't work out for me the first time. Every night I had to give birth on stage since I was performing in a play, she revealed. The miscarriage is unclear in time, but the play, written by George Brandt, ran for six weeks in April 2015. I couldn't contain it while I was performing on stage and acting like everything was alright. Otherwise, I had to be honest. Having experienced the other side of things, where one must possess grace in order to express happiness for another, I wanted to reassure my sisters that grace is not a requirement for every situation. I've been you, and I see you, she continued. In addition, the Rachel getting married actress decided to cut out as much of her other bad habits as she could, like using social media infrequently. She remarked, I base a lot of my lifestyle decisions on promoting mental health. I gave up on activities that I knew would wear me out or put me in a spiral. In reality, I don't interact with myself on the internet. 